Hi, this is John Barton with JB Cases. This is going to be a very short tutorial on how to use our designer tool um, to create a custom case. So let's take a look here at what we have. The first thing I want to tell you guys is before you use the designer to design, I'm going to show you this real quick. Before you use this though, this is a place where you can see templates of cases to get started with. Um, we've got our basic rugged, ultimate rugged, dynamite rugged, and hybrid nylon. And then down here, we're going to be putting more, more color cases, more different uh, things that we've done, um, so that you can uh, you can get a better start. You won't have to, for example, if you like blue, you won't have to start and put all the blue in. But before we do all this, I want to show you something that's important. You should register or log in so that you save your designs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit register here real quick so you guys can see it on the register and login page. When you register, you're just going to put your first name, last name, email address, password, and so on real quick right there. Um, if you sign up for our newsletter, which we actually don't have right now, um, but if you do sign up for it, you'll get like a $5 credit on your account. Um, I promise I won't spam you guys or do anything like that. Um, once in a while, if I ever get around to actually doing some kind of a newsletter, I may send something out, but most likely it won't happen. But feel free to sign up for it if you want to, um, and you'll get five bucks on your account. Um, so if you haven't already registered, okay? Now, I'm already registered, so I'm going to go to log in. And um, here at log in, I'm going to uh, sign up here, so we're good to go. And now, when you log in, it will say your name. It'll say, Welcome John Barton, as it does up here. And you'll have these tabs, my account, my designs, my wish list, my credit, my cart, what's in my cart, checkout, logout, and store locator. Um, so this thing right here is not working right now. We don't have a store locator, uh, but it's coming. But anyway, let's go back to uh, designs. So I'm kind of going backwards here, but we're going to go my designs real quick. And this is a list of the designs that have been done um, that I have done under my own account. So sometimes I'll design for people. You can see here we've got some all black ones. I was doing some experimenting the other day some blue, some pink, and so on. And if I move down, you'll see some more designs that we've done for, for other people. Um, so here, for example, you see I've got one here. It says Rick here, and it's got a camo thing on here. So basically, these are, these are all the designs that I've done on my own account. Now, let's go to the designer real quick, back to the designer, and show you how to get started. So here, what you're going to do is, you can pick any of these designs to start with, and it doesn't matter what you pick. You can go backwards and forwards. You can add parts, delete parts, whatever you want to do. But what I want to show you is you'll notice like here, it says um, pocket size, 8 by 2 This is notes in the margins. So what I'll do is I'll start with this one because it's easier to see with the notes already in the margins and so, and so on. So you'll click on that. And that's going to take you to a new page where on this page, now the design takes a little bit, the first time it does it, it's going to take a little bit of time to load because um, it's got to load a lot of parts and stuff like that. But on this one right here, we call this the dynamite rugged because the pockets are larger. Now we don't actually have those parts right now, so it's, it's notated for us with these notes in the margins. Now all this is is text. You can move this text anywhere you want. If you go too far off the margins, it'll pop back in. But I want to show you something with this. As long as the text is not touching the case, there's no charge. As soon as you put the text on the case, it thinks that you want to put it on and it's going to charge for it. Now, you'll notice this little question mark up here. You can go to the question mark and it'll give you a listing of everything that's being charged for. So you'll notice here that we have all this text right here. All this text right here is represented in this $29. It thinks that you want to 
embroider all that on the pocket. So right now we're going to take it back off. And you'll notice that the price changes to $220. And if we go look here, it's not listed anywhere on here. And it's gone. So this is important because sometimes, you know, people will write a note and they'll accidentally touch. And they'll wonder, why is it $250? Or why did my price increase suddenly? So make sure that, it's, that any notes that you put on here are not touching the margins. Now, I want to show you one other little technique with text in the margins real quick. You can make arrows simply by going like this and use the, uh, let's see here what key that is. Use the, um, the right arrow key or the left arrow key next to the uh, M. And then that's your dash keys right there. And then now you've got a little arrow so to point to something right here. So we'll X out of that. And there you go. Okay, now. This here, for example, is a little bit of a workaround. This is a $10 charge. This, this indicates showing you the type of case that it's going to be with the bigger pockets. So that's just there. You'll notice that it's under parts here. Now, where do you find this? You go to art and options, options, parts, and accessories. And these, all of these things are parts or extra charges that you can put onto a case. So for example, this one is found down here and it says dynamite larger dynamite larger pockets ten dollars and that's represented right here dynamite larger pockets ten dollars um, so you can see that so all that tells us is that you want these type of pockets right there so I'll show you one more thing now parts and accessories these parts and accessories are charged whether they're touching the case or not so for example, towel rings are popular. So a towel ring comes up, it's giant right there. Sorry about that, I'll fix it at some point, but you can make it smaller. And uh, this is the most popular spot for a towel ring, right here. That's the most popular spot, and we're gonna go ahead and make that even smaller to represent where it should go. And if it's, if it's not touching the case, it doesn't matter because you're still getting charged for it. You'll notice there's a $10 charge here. And if we go down, you'll see that now we have a new one for towel ring right there. So most people will place it like right about here, you know, approximately right there. We, we know where to put it. And you can see it's represented on the case right here as well. Um, but that's how you add a part to the case. So you don't have to, uh, when, you, when you add a part here, you don't have to actually put it inside the case or on the case. You can just kind of put it off to the side and we know that's what you want uh, just by the fact that you chose it. So you can even make it small, it doesn't matter. The, uh, the actual size representation here doesn't matter because we know that's what you want and we'll provide it for you. Um, okay, now a lot of people say, how do I change the size? Okay, well when you, when you click on the, the interior here, it allows you to choose the colors. If you want to actually change the size of the case, you can go to parts, and down here you'll see that you have different part uh, size choices. So if we want to go to a three by six, now we've gone to a three by six. Now you'll notice here that the price changes slightly. It's a ten dollar upcharge per size that you go up. So for example, this is a three six. It's thirty dollars. Let's go back and change it back to a two by five, three by four. And you'll notice that that goes down to 235. So if we go look at the uh, look at the list here, it's twenty dollars. And there you go. So that's how you can change it. And again, once you change the size, um, you can then go. It automatically goes to changing the color. So you can automatically change the color here just by picking any color that you want. These are the interior colors um, that the case will be. Now. Real quick about color, once in a while, you know, the colors are not going to match perfectly. We can't, we can't account for everybody's monitors, um, the screen darkness, the, the brightness, you know, um, whether you're viewing it in sunlight or not. So we do the best we can to, to kind of show you the colors and approximate them. Um, so once in a while, you know, the color might be a shade off or, or than, than you expect, but you can always go here um, and you can see the colors that uh, of the nylon, for example, 
And then we try to match those as best we can to the interior colors. Um, but you can also browse our, uh, our cases on the main site and um, look for different interior colors and you can see what those colors should be. So that will, uh, that will help you to see the actual colors. Um, remember, this is an approximation of what you want and it's not going to be, it's not going to be a hundred percent exact. It'll be really close. Um, but you know, we will go through the, we will, this is basically you telling us what you want and we'll go through it and we'll make any corrections. We'll make sure everything's centered. Um, you know, we'll make sure that everything is the way it should be. And we will then show you a drawing and say, are we good with this? And if you want to make more changes or we did something wrong, then you just tell us and we'll change it. So, all right. Um, changing colors on the parts. If you click on a part here, it will automatically show up here. And the part that you're going, the actual exact part you're going to change a color on is highlighted in purple around here. So, for example, I can make this red. Now, the bottom ring right here, if I want that, I will need then to go inside the body and click on the bottom ring, and then I can change it. And the same thing for the top ring. So each time you highlight one of these, you can change it to the right one. Now, you'll notice that in here it says lid. If you click over this, you'll see top zipper, stitching, zipper pulls, bottom stitching, body leather trim, body trim stitching. Now, for stitching, we used to allow everyone to change every stitching everywhere, um, but that got to be too much of a problem because if we missed one, you know, then people would be upset. So we don't do that anymore. So now, if you click on any stitching and you just change it, it'll change everywhere. So you can only have one color of stitching on the whole case. So you have to make a decision which one that's going to be. But um, but believe me, it works out really well. Um, it looks really cool. So if you want to change the handle, you can do it by clicking on the top handle here. You'll notice that it's highlighted. So let's make that yellow. And then again, you've got stitching and webbing. Now stitching here is for the stitching on the leather parts right here for this particular part of the case. But as I said, when you change the stitching, you change it everywhere. So you can in any of these spaces, if you decide, for example, well, I don't, you know, I, I thought I liked the orange stitching, but I actually like uh, the blue stitching, then you can do that and it'll change the, it'll change to blue stitching everywhere. Um, so we'll change that to lighter purple so you guys can see it. All right. Now you can also, to be a little bit easier, you can go through like this to mess with all of the different parts. So you don't have to click on the actual parts. You can just go in, go down the line and click on the different parts that you want to do. So the uh, pad, the shoulder pad here, you can see we can change that to blue. Now you want to do the strap. Change that to orange if you like. Um, the shoulder pad D rings, those are not changeable. Those are going to be gunmetal and they are right there represented. So you just leave those alone. Leather trim is always going to be black. Um, now, having said that, you can call us up and you can say, I want the leather trim to be something else. And that's going to be a manual um, choice that we will have to agree to, to do it. Um, we recommend that you leave everything black here for the leather trim on there. These are all of the connector parts for uh, all the stress points for the case. But, um, you know, we, we're a custom case maker, so we will do it on demand. I just, don't, I just don't allow it to be changed in here because, again, we have the same problem with too many small parts um, being different colors. And, uh, and that's just too much to deal with. So that's one, one decision we made. So if you really, 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 really want the leather parts to be a different color, call us up. We'll add an upcharge to it for, for it to be done. Um, and then we'll pay extra attention to the case and make sure it happens. Um, so, uh, again, you can go here and you can just keep going down. So go to the next pocket. And you'll change the face right here. So let's make that orange. Change the side. Make that like purple and so on. And then like zipper pulls here. So zipper you can't change. That's black. 
Piping is important. So piping. Those are the three things you can change on the on the materials. Now on the zipper pulls, you can change the zipper pulls to any color you want right there. And um, zipper pulls, for example, guys, you know, so you may ask, okay, why do you not allow to do all these little parts or the stitching on each part to be different colors, but yet you allow the zipper pulls to be different colors? Here's why. If we miss the zipper pull, if we accidentally put the wrong color on, then we can do that after the case is already finished. We can just take those zipper pulls off and put new ones on easily. But I can't, I, I don't want to take the whole case apart just to redo the stitching right here because I missed the, that you wanted green instead of blue on this and you wanted red here and, and green here. Um, so that's why that's that way, okay? So just in case you're wondering. But anyway, you can click directly on the pocket and you'll see there. Now you'll notice this case has two pockets. Now, as I said earlier, you can go any direction that you want. So if you decide, oh, well, you know what? I don't really like the dynamite rugged style, so I don't want that. Okay, just get rid of it. Now we're gonna put on three pockets. Let's go back to parts and add a third pocket. Oh, look at this, we have a problem. Take the pocket and drag it down and drag the pocket down here and now you've got three pockets again. Now we don't need this because these are the regular size pockets. Now these are uh this is a 16 inch pocket. This is a 7 inch pocket. And this is a 3 inch pocket. So right now these pockets are also not totally proportional. Uh this pocket is actually 3 inches tall and 3 inches wide. It's not as wide as these. These pockets are actually uh 4 inches uh wide. So, you know, don't worry about that too much though right now. Just uh just know that you can position them approximately where they should be. If you want it, if you do want them to go higher, you can say that. We have people that that will position the pockets a little bit differently. Um or you can use the template and start out where they are. Um but you can go up and down here. Now, the only thing here is that you will need um and you can't see this on the design, but you'll need about an inch uh, between the pockets so that the zippers can easily come up and over and around. Uh, but yeah, now you've got three pockets on here and you can take that and get rid of it. So there you go. Now again, click on the pocket and you can start out with the, uh, with the pocket colors, side and piping, for example. So you can play around with all these colors on here and, and to do it. So here we need a handle color, and that's that. Okay, so that's the colors. Now let's talk about art and options, okay? So as I told you before, everything in here that says parts and accessories, all of these are items that are actual physical parts on the case, and they will be added to the case. So if you choose them, if you choose a ball holder, for example, you can just kind of put that off to the side, and we know that you want a ball holder in the lid. And uh, that will add $25 to the price. So you can see that uh, represented here. Ball holder adds $25. So that's a part. Now, if you continue and with this drop down, you'll see that we have the rest of it is all options, is art. So for example, um, military. So you may say, uh, I want some kind of a military design on here. Um, Here's an army logo. So you'll notice that the price jumped up a lot on there for this army logo. This particular logo is a lot of stitching here. So it's it's like 50,000 stitches or something to do this. So you'll notice here this is priced out at $50. Um, the uh, But you could get it if you want it, but you can play around with that. You'll notice obviously not everything military is represented here. Um, these are basically things that we've done for people, and so we'll uh, we'll upload them. Here's the uh, Marine uh, Eagle Globe and Anchor, for example. And you'll notice it comes up. This is this is blank, so this is bad. So I will uh, I will change this later. So sometimes you'll see this where we made a mistake, and uh, and the uh, the logo won't come up right. So when we catch it, we'll change it and do that. So let's go with this one here, the Chevron. You'll notice here 
the chevron comes up and this is a $20 embroidery and right there you can make it smaller and a lot of the times you'll be able to click on it and change the color so just play around with that so that you can see how it's supposed to go and you can change the color on that and do that the way you want it uh, but you can position that wherever it makes sense for you and we will do it okay so continuing on we have a couple other cool things here this says Karen Barton's embroidery designs these are some designs that Karen made up and you can pull that up and position it on the pocket or on the space where it makes sense and basically this is just a design that we did it's an embroidery design and this one is for the bottom pocket right here and you can turn around and again you can play around with the color and uh, change the color on it here I'll do it in white so it's easier to see and that would be embroidered on there now if you want to see what it looks like for real because you'll see that it's a little bit small right there just uh, just just do it again or put put one over in the margins here and say color it black so you can see it now take it over here make it bigger and you can see what it's supposed to look like so you can kind of see there what it's supposed to look like and then you'll have a better understanding of what it'll look like on the pocket so um, also you'll notice here that in some in some of these we have an example if I click on this there's no extra charge for this it's just a, it's just a picture that's inside of this folder to show you what the design would look like on a case if you chose to get that so you can take that and you can make it bigger. You can put it all the way over here in the corner if you want. Make it bigger so you can really see the design. And that just gives you an idea of what it looks like if it were on the case. And then, of course, you can just kind of get rid of it right there so you don't need it anymore. And the same thing here. So that design right there, uh, let's see what that added to the price of the case. So $25 for that embroidery all, all along the pocket there. So that's an idea, you know, and, and as we go, we'll be adding more and more to these as we, as we create designs. Uh, but those are designs that Karen created. Uh, Dino Capreros, let's see, do we have any art for him? So Dino has a, uh, and again, this is not formatted correctly, so you can't see anything there. But uh, let's continue down, and you'll see that uh, we have a, um, Steve DeYoung has some has some artwork in here. So we've done a couple cases with Steve's art in here. So uh, let me pull this one. This one's the one I think was best. So this is a uh, a Maori design that Steve did, and you'll notice we'll we'll make that black so you can see it. That would be embroidered, for example, on the whole pocket. So you would take that and you could uh, you could just put it here to fit it to the pocket. And you'll notice right there that it would be uh, then it would be embroidered on the pocket. So you could turn around, you can make that any color you want, and that whole pocket would be embroidered. Now you'll notice here though that this this one is uh, kind of pricey. It's a hundred dollars to uh, to put this on a pocket. Um, the reason is is because of two reasons. One is it's a lot of stitching. So to do this whole pocket right here is probably about eighty to a hundred thousand stitches. Um, we do very high quality stitching, so it's it's nice, believe me. The other reason is, is that we want the artist to get paid uh, for his art. So he has a he has a fee for each each item that he puts on here. And uh, if we use his art, if you use his art, then he gets a little portion of it. Um, so that's the other reason why. But the the main driver, the 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 amount that you're paying for his art is actually not that much. The, the the bulk of the price here is actually for the stitching uh, just because it's so involved and so uh, it takes just this pocket alone would take probably about three to four hours uh, for the embroidery machine to do it and someone's got to stand there that whole time and babysit the machine because if the thread breaks or anything happens uh, they've got to stop the machine and take care of it otherwise it'll just keep going and it will ruin the it'll ruin the whole piece. So um, 
So that's basically what you're paying for. All right, but anyway, moving on, uh, you'll see we have lots of stuff here. We have some stuff from a company called Urban Threads, and uh, we're starting to put up some of their designs. So this is pretty cool right here. These are embroidery designs that we purchase, and uh, you can uh, you can get those and put them up. We're just a little bit delinquent in putting them all up, but they're really cool. Uh, so here, this one, for example, um, is a $50 embroidery right there. So that one you could fit on there and put on the pocket or wherever you want to put it. Now, once in a while, guys, just to show you something, uh, once in a while, you know, you'll ask for something that we can't do because we just simply don't have it. So, for example, uh, putting this on the pocket here like this would be fine. Um, but if you told us that you wanted it, say, on the back, let's say, for example, you said, uh, okay, I want this on the back. And I want it to be, like, huge, right? So I want it to be, like, across the whole back. Something along these lines here. Say you wanted it to be like this big and across the whole back and so on. Um, we couldn't do that because we don't actually have that size of embroidery. Uh, but we'll let you know that. So if you make a mistake and you, you put that on there, we'll let you know that. Okay, so moving on here. Um, the uh, The... So moving on here, we have a uh, that's the art. So you can see there, you can play around with that. And you can go through the art. All right. Now sometimes you'll see something here. It says test, do not use order leather based models. This is us working on some workarounds uh, to try to figure out how to help you build leather cases on here. So don't worry about it. We're just uh, we're trying to like incorporate some parts in here so you can uh, you'd be able to actually kind of build a leather case on top of this template. Um, hopefully we'll get the programming right and we'll be able to just do this all together at some point. But for the moment, for the moment, this is just internal testing. Uh, pool stuff, you know, racks, things like that. So let's move on to uploading art. So for example, let's say that you want to put a dragon on here. Okay, now the art part of it, uploading the art is fairly easy. You can just go here and you can find a you can find a piece of art on your computer that you want, put it up, upload it. But here's the important part in here. This is really important that you read this, okay? Um whatever art you tell us to put on here, uh when you when you upload it, you're basically telling us that you have the right to use it. We're not going to be the ones. It's not our. It's not our responsibility to go and research the art that you get and and find out if you have the right to put it on something. Okay, um, so you're basically telling us. So if anybody ever comes back to us at any point and says, "Hey, uh, you guys don't have the right to do that," um, we're just the we're just the custom maker here. So um, we're like a house painter. If you tell us you want to put a logo on a on the side of a house. We'll do it because it's not our job to get into the legalities of whether you have the right to do it or not. So when you sign this, you are signing a legal contract telling us that you have the right to use the art. So keep that in mind. Um, anyway, the uh, so when you hit continue right here, you must read this and understand what it says. But when you hit continue, You'll go and you'll go to your computer and you'll find art that you want. Now, where to get the art? So here, I want a dragon. So I've typed in dragon clip art public domain. Now, public domain means that it's copyright free. Okay, so let's pick something simple here. So let's say like this right here. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. I'm just going to go uh, save image as. And you'll notice here you've got a big long image uh, thing right there. PNG is what we really want with a transparent background. That's the best for us. Okay. So we're going to go save. And I'm going to open this up to see where it's at. 
Okay, so show in Finder. So I can see where I put it. Okay, so it's on my desktop. Okay, great. And it says Dragon 999. Okay. So now, going back to the designer, I want to go ahead and hit continue. And we're going to upload a photo. And we're going to look for the photo that we just opened, that we just got. So we'll call Dragon 999, right? And where is it at? Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. So now I need a 999. And there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. And now what's going to happen is, as we scroll down, our dragon is right there. Bingo. Now you can put it on there. Now, you'll notice here that you can't change the color on this dragon. Okay, so there's no color option for this because you're not being able to upload it like I can where I can tell it to change the color. But you can tell us that you want it to be a different color. So, for example, you could put this on here. Now, you'll notice the ping, PNG, with a transparent background allows you to put the dragon anywhere without anything around it. Now, that's okay. You don't have to you don't have to have it have a transparent background because remember, this is just a sketch to tell us what you want. But when you put it on there, you can say in the margins, going back to text, you can say make dragon red. Now, you're going to have to do this right here. So you'll see here and then uh, go here and then make it smaller so we can see it and then we'll know what you want so make the dragon red there you've told us what you want right there you want this dragon to be in red perfect um, so that's the way that you do that right there all right now that we're on the subject of text so that's how you upload your art and so on so if you want to if you want to upload something that uh, you can uh, you can also upload something here that um, that you can go always go to my art for example, and that will show you everything in your own account that you've got on there. So you'll notice we've got lots of different things on here. I've got lots of stuff on here that I've uploaded for people. Um, let's let's use this one real quick. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to bring that in. Now you'll notice it doesn't have a transparent background, but basically the thing here is it's just going to show me if you take this and you put it on here, it'll just show me what's on here where you want it. So again, you know, that's uh, that's going to put it on there. Now, these these things when you do this, what they do is they automatically come in at uh, at like a $30 charge for this. Uh, let me see. Let me find one here. So, so you can see the, the items that we added in um, comes in at $30. Now, that doesn't mean that that's going to stay at $30. That's just, a, that's just a starting point. If this embroidery ends up being really big and lots and lots of stitches, you know, we'll come back to you and we'll tell you if we need more money. Uh, but, but basically, the whole point of this here is to give you an idea of what you want. Um, and give us an idea of what you want so that we can get together and give you an accurate quote. Most of the time, most of the time, it's going to work out just fine. So the quote that you see on here, the estimated price that you see right here is going to be is going to be enough. Once in a while, of course, we're going to come back to you and we're going to say, okay, look, if you want this to be in that size with this many stitches and everything, we're going to have to charge, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 dollars more, it depends. And then let you make a decision right there as to whether you want to go ahead with that design or not. And then we can work it out from that point. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, so that's enough for art right now. Uh, let's talk about text real quick. So for text, it's very simple. Just type what you want, add it in, and you can change colors. You can go up or down with it. Now when you're grabbing stuff, you want to make sure that that you're uh, you're not grabbing the little handles here. So this is going to stretch your text. This is going to rotate your text right here. I know I've got a lot of stuff on the screen here. Let me get rid of some of this stuff so you guys can see it better.
Okay, so we click on the text. You'll notice that you have a rotation right here, and you have handles right here so you can stretch it and move it. So, for example, if you want this to read from bottom to top, which would be right to left if you put the case on the, on the table, if the case was on the table with the handle up, this would be right to left. So I'm going to go and I'm going to center it right here, approximately, and that's what that would look like. So now you can choose different fonts by going through here. Now what I don't have right now is I don't have a preview on the font, so you got to just kind of go through it and see what they look like and make a decision right there. Um, but that's basically what we do right there. So that's a little bit cumbersome, I realize. We're working on it, but uh, if you give it the time and you, you look at it, you'll get it the way you want it. Now, some people want their name, for example, they want their name to go top to bottom with the letter stacked, and here's how you do that. So, for example, if I wanted my name to be stacked, I would go J, O, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this real quick and start over, okay? So, we're going to go J, and then Enter. O, enter, O, enter, H, capital H, enter, capital N. Okay, so now I'm going to add that as text. Funny. Oh, because it's in a different font. So I'll go back to Arial so you guys can see that. Um, all right, so you see that? Now you'll notice here that it's not exactly centered. So you can go here and justify it to the center. Now all the letters are going to be centered. And there you go. Now you can put the name going vertical on the pocket. Not a problem. So that's how you would do text on there. So, um, And that's about it, really. You can put the text anywhere you want. Um, if you prefer the, uh, okay, now I'll show you one thing else. When you move the, so you have all these notes in the margins here. When you move this around, you'll notice that everything disappears right here because each one of these is its own layer. So when you're looking at the side, if you wanted to have your name on the side, for example, you would add the text. Sorry about that. Let me rotate that right again. So you'd add the text here and then just tell us, you know, kind of put it down here so we see that it's going to be on the side. Now I know that's a little bit off, you know, from the, um, that's a little bit off. It's not exactly under the center, but we know what you want right there. So we'll, uh, we'll ask you and we'll put it there. But that gives you the idea. Same thing on the strap. You know, if you want to put it on the back, put it on the strap, you can do that and then we know what you want. So so that's basically a, a you know, fairly long quick tutorial on how to uh, how to use the designer. So when you're done with everything, go to save. You'll notice that the buy now button is grayed out. The reason it's grayed out right here that you can't do it is because you haven't yet saved this design. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And it's important to save often, you know, when you're doing this, um, because you don't want to lose all the work that you've done on here. So once a design is saved, you can go look at it in my designs. And I recommend that you do this just in case. If you know how to do it, go ahead and just go open link in new tab. Okay, so this doesn't go anywhere. Because once in a while, you'll get logged out or some there'll be some kind of a glitch and you want to make sure that you don't lose the design. So I'm going to go to my designs. Now I'm now I'm sure that it's saved right here. No problem. We're good to go. Okay? So, once I have that, now let's say for example that I don't want to I don't want to lose everything. I want to I like this, but I you know what? I I like everything on here, but I want to see what it looks like with a blue body instead. So I'm going to go back to edit 
And the first thing I'm going to do under edit is I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Now you notice it says you're working with a new design. Okay. Like I said, I like everything about it except I really want to see what it looks like with a blue body. So now I'm going to save it. And having saved it, I'm going to go to my designs, refresh the page. Now I can look at both of these designs. Now I can look at both of them and I can kind of see which ones I like. Now a couple things here that you need to know. You can view the PDF. So when you look at that, it's going to open a new tab and that's going to give you a, a picture of all four sides. And it will give you a list of all the items that you're being charged for on here. So also it's good to see that so you can see if there's any duplicates on there. Once in a while you'll, uh, you'll stack names on top of each other or something like that. So you'll see that there's, there's two instances of being charged for, for letters or something. So you'll be able to go back and correct that. Um, but basically that shows me the design right there. Now you can also do the same thing from the larger design page right here. Uh, you can see all four sides right here and if you click on any one of these sides it'll show you the larger version of it right there. So you can kind of scroll through and see everything and you'll see here it says view PDF and as well you've got a list here of all of the charges again on this page. So we try to make this easy for you everywhere you go that you can see everything that you're being charged for or being quoted so to speak and you've got that. And of course you can share these designs uh, with your friends or on Facebook or, or whatever on Twitter. Um, not a problem. And be sure to like us and, and uh, tweet at us and things like that and share them. You know, uh, get your friends involved, get everybody involved, you know, design by committee, whatever it takes. We're happy. We're so happy if you guys will, uh, will share on this, you know, get your friends to design for you, get them to design more cases. More designs are better. Uh, it's just better for everybody that we get to see all the creativity out there. So there you go, folks. That's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, just give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. I will break this down into smaller segments and chunks because I know that this is long. And um, But yeah, that's basically it. So anything you, that you haven't seen on here that you want, just call us and tell us. But feel free to play around with it. And um, whenever you come up with a great design that you just can't live without, we'll be happy to build it for you and make it into reality. Take care and thank you very much.